Plots are pretty useful to use it to make color grading in your scene because if you're making a game, you cannot just make it in DaVinci or Premiere Pro. It should be in game, right? So I'm going to show you how you can do it with so easy step your own custom loots with some quick tips. If you're ready, let's dive into it. So I got a scene like that. As you can see, I just prepared some lightning. It is pre uh level, but I just made the lightning right now. So normally what you can use to adjust color grading, you can come here and change some settings. As you can see, I changed it, but I'm just gonna take it back. It's more yellowish. As you can see, let's go to misc. And as you can see, there's a color grading LUT, which is lookup table. Let's search, do we have any loot in here? Yes, we have. We have afternoon. We have daytime. We have morning. And we have night. Those are different loots. You can use it. But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create my own custom loot. Maybe because I want a unique look in my scene. Maybe I'm just going to make... Uh, more saturated area or more grayish area so how we can do it let me show you first i need to take a screenshot everything looks fine and i'm gonna take a screenshot after we take a screenshot i'm gonna go to photoshop okay so we are in the photoshop as you can see what we're gonna do we're gonna create our own custom load for this i'm gonna create a new layer on top of this layer, I'm going to add brightness and contrast, exposure, hue and saturation, vibrance, and levels. So let's start with brightness and contrast. For this, maybe we can make more brighter and more higher contrast. By the way, you don't have to make significant difference in the scene. Loads are just for mood, I believe. So we're just gonna change a bit. We're not gonna make so different looking than the normal. We just want to change some things in the scene for exposure. Just gonna make it something like that. Offset. Let's leave like that. Gamma correction. Make it like that. Go to the hue and saturation. Okay. I want a more saturated scene, maybe. Not so much. Let's make it 15. Lightness. It's like 2. We can make it a completely different thing like that. We don't want that. So let's leave it in here. Let's go to vibrance. As you can see how it is changing. So we're going to make around. 20 and let's go to levels you can change some other settings from the levels too you don't have to use levels you can just use the other ones but i also want to use color balance and i want to make it a bit greenish and more blue I think it is a bit more looking cinematic. So we just made our settings. How are we gonna amplify this into the Unreal Engine? First, so I came to do Unreal Engine using lookup tables, loots for color grading page. And as you can see, there's a color neutral loot in here. We need to download this because it's color neutral. So we can use this and we can put our own effects into this. As you can see, it shows the difference. Just download this and come back to the Photoshop. Okay, I imported my color neutral look. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy everything, come here and paste it. So let's make it group. As you can see, the lot has changed. So we're just gonna export this with this way. I'm gonna export as I'm gonna export as GPG file. I exported, so let's go back to the Unreal. In Unreal, open the content browser. It's gonna say plots. 
I import my LUT, but we need to change some settings in here. Choose color lookup table and in the compression settings. And I'm gonna make HDR high compression. It doesn't mean something. I just want, don't want any compression because it's already a small file. Just save it. Let's go to our post process. And let's import our LUT. As you can see. It is looking exactly the same. So with this way, you can create your own LUTs. Maybe you can sell it in the internet. I'm just going to give all links in the description. Also, I will share this LUT if you want to use it. Also, my all plugins in the Gumroad are free right now. I'm not selling anything. Uh, it's all free. You can use it for every kind of projects. So because of that, I would like to ask you just subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps me a lot. So thanks for watching. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you're doing great works.